Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to show you a new scanner by Launch. This is going to work for your Honda or Acura vehicles. So this is the 2024 Creator Elite 2.0 version. I've been using the 1.0 version for quite some time and I did a full review video on this one and this is the upgrade to it. So this one, it was a little bit slow. Now they have a faster processor in here. This one had a small screen. Now they have a larger screen. Instead of me just talking about it, let me pull my Civic in and let me show you exactly what it does. So I just want to clarify, I said this was a Honda scanner, but if you go to the mall here, you can buy software for any other manufacturer. Now let's just go to Asian here. And then here you can buy whatever manufacturer you want. Here's Hyundai for $38. So, but when you buy this for the Honda, you already get that Honda software in there. So if you just needed this for a Honda, this is a great deal. And then if you bought a different car later on, you just pay the $38 and then you have that vehicle in this also. So let's get back. Now let's go to diagnose and then let's find my Honda and there's my software. So let's go ahead and push OK. Sixteen pin DLC. It's a USA car. There's my vehicle. Now I can do a health report. This is going to scan all my modules. I don't want to do that right now. I just want to go to system selection. So here, here's my computer, my transmission, my supplemental restraints. So I just got a ton and a ton of information here. It's my gauges, air conditioning system. And a lot of these I'm not going to be able to use because they don't work on this car. But here's tire pressure monitor. So I can read fault codes. And right there I have a tire three low air pressure. So let's go ahead and back up out of this. So on the show menu, let's go to system selection. And let's go down, I wanna go down to my body control module. Let's do this one here. And then on this one, I can uh, check my gauges on my dash. I can do lighting. But this is the one that I was impressed with, door locks. So you could check codes, you could check your module, but I wanted to do an actuator test. So I can lock all doors. Let me shut the door. I'm gonna lock all doors. I just locked all the doors and I can unlock. And that was just a driver's door that I unlocked. And now I'm going to unlock all the doors. Now let's back up. Let's go to read data stream. And now I can go ahead and make a couple checks. Door lock command on, driver's door. So let's just select those three.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actuate the door locks and we're going to see if it goes on or off. So I unlocked. I'm going to do it again. Look at the second one there. That off is going to turn on. Pretty good, huh? Pretty cool. All right, so if you're looking at the same screen, if I come down to wiper, I'll push wiper, I'll do actuator test, and watch this, I can make the wipers go on and off. So executing. Now I can exit. Uh, windshield washer command. Let's see if I can get the washers to come on. And there they go. Destroying my nice clean window. Alright, and let's do the high wiper command. the high wiper so not just diagnosing engine I can do body wipers electrical all sorts of stuff with this now if you're going to use your scan tool to help you on diagnosing the AC system go to system selection go to the computer here what we're going to do is we're going to check for codes first and we have no trouble codes, so we're going to exit that. And then we're going to go to actuator test. And for AC, we can hear the AC clutch. Let's see if that turns on. And here's the value. It's off right now. Let's see if that changes. Here it is. It's on. And I heard a click. Off. On. Off. So I hear it clicking and it says it's on and off. So I know my AC clutch is turning on and off. So let's exit here. Let's see what other test I can do here. Radiator fan, that's a good one. Let's check to see if my radiator fans are coming on. There we go. So let's turn it on. Right now it says off. So it's on, let's exit. Now let's back up and let's go down to data stream. So now let's pick out AC clutch, AC pressure switch, AC pressure switch voltage, the AC control head switch, and let's look for anything else that has to do with AC on here. There's a lot of stuff on here that you can actually look at. Um, some of it doesn't apply to this car, but it applies to many other cars. So let's just keep going until we see anything to do with our AC. Okay, so engine coolant temperature sensor one, and that's important, engine coolant temperature sensor, one voltage, because this car has two temperature sensors and not all scan tools read individually on these. They just kind of put them together, which is, is doesn't help when you're starting to diagnose something. So this is a good scan tool. Um, let's look for fans. There it is, fan low and fan high. So we've got all that data. We're going to say OK. And now I'm going to start the vehicle and let's see what we see here. All right, so we're going to turn on the AC system. And you can see everything change. So AC clutch is on. The AC pressure sensor, 155, that'll kind of be the same as if you had a gauge on it and that would be the high pressure on the high side we have the uh, sensor voltage the ac switch this is the control head i'm going to shut it off and it turns off so i just check the control head turn it on and it's on 
engine coolant temperature one it's 145 degrees there's the voltage 1.2 engine coolant sensor temperature 2 82 degrees and I did a whole video on this I'll link it in the description um, on where those sensors are and what all this data means and how to check it manually too I did all that on a different video so here's another one fan high so the fan high right now is off let's see if we can get that to come on it may not let's turn up the okay so the low fan is on right now okay the the high fan just came on and now it went off so it's cycling with the air conditioner but look at the, all the information on this tool that you can get so i just showed you a small amount of what this thing is capable of doing we went through and we looked at the door locks the wipers you can read codes uh, just it's endless with this little thing it works on honda and acura vehicles this model you can buy software at the mall and you can add vehicles if you want i'm going to put a link to this in the description below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing i'll also be using this in future videos so make sure you subscribe to my page thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video